This video is going to show you how to solve an example problem for a diverging lens using the lens equation. So for a diverging lens with a focal length of 30 centimeters, describe the image if the object is placed 90 centimeters in front of the lens. Describe its location, if it's real or virtual, if it's upright or inverted, and its magnification. So in this problem I've already highlighted the word diverging to make it different from the last problem that I showed about converging lenses. So the lens equation says 1 over f equals 1 over s plus 1 over s prime. That means 1 over the focal length equals 1 over the distance between the object and the lens plus 1 over the distance between the image and the lens. Uh, you may know this as P and Q in a different textbook. A couple of things about this. Diverging lenses have a negative focal length, so that's a little clue that's important because that means I'm going to put a negative number in for the focus. The units that go in this equation don't matter. only thing that matters is they've got to match. So you can put centimeters in for everything, or inches, or yards, or parsecs. It doesn't really matter as long as all the units are the same. And whatever units you put into the equation, your answer will have the same units. So when I look at it, I get 1 over negative 30 because it's diverging lens. So just the fact that it's diverging gives me that negative sign. And that's equal to 1 over 90 plus 1 over s prime. Do a little bit of math to find a lowest common denominator. Subtract 1 over 90 from both sides. And then do a little more math and reduce it in this odd little expression. And then finally, I've got to flip it to get the final answer. So s prime is equal to negative 22.5 centimeters. The most common mistake is at the step where it says negative 4 over 90. A lot of people just set that equal to s prime. But you've got to remember it's, it's the inverse of s prime. So s prime is negative 22.5 centimeters. So here's the distance in the image. There's a uh, diverging lens and the object's on the left and it's 90 centimeters away and I've got a little focal length drawn there. So my image is at negative 22.5 centimeters. So as the light goes from the lens, it goes from left to right through the lens, so the light belongs on the right hand side. So all my distances that are positive for the image would also be on the right hand side. Since this is negative, it's going to be on the opposite side because that's what the negative sign means. It means the opposite of. So this appears on the same side as the object negative 22.5 centimeters. So here's my my image somewhere over there. Now because the S is negative that's going to make it virtual because it's going to appear on the same side as the object itself. The magnification is equal to negative S prime over S that's image distance over object distance. So therefore the magnification is negative of a negative 22.5 over 90 because that's the answer I got earlier and that's going to be a positive one-fourth and because the answer is positive on the magnification that means it's going to be an upright image and because it's one-fourth it's going to be one-fourth the original size of the object.